thank you for joining today uh, for our session on AWS MGN for migration. So my name is Hari Zahir Ahmed. I'm an AWS solutions architect at TechBricks, and I'm very pleased to welcome you today. Let's take a quick glance at our agenda for uh, today's webinar. So first we will discuss about the business drivers for the AWS cloud migration. We'll dive into the driving forces behind the organization's decisions to migrate to the AWS cloud. Then we'll discuss about the uh, benefits of migrating to the AWS cloud. So what does the AWS cloud offer that the traditional on-premises servers or services cannot do? I uh, will identify the challenges as well, which you may face during the migration. And AWS MGN will be our spotlight tool for today. We'll explore how AWS MGN can help you in, uh, in your migration journey. We'll also discuss some of the success stories of the organizations who have used AWS MGN uh, for their uh, AWS migration. Plus, we can discuss how AWS MGN can provide you the robust disaster recovery solution on AWS Cloud. And finally, uh, we'll see how TechBricks uh, with its expertise and experience can assist you in your AWS migration journey. So let's get started. Uh, to begin with, uh, we'll, let's discuss about the business drivers for the migrating to the AWS cloud. Why organizations want to adopt AWS cloud and why it's getting more and more popular day by day. So the first thing is we can achieve from the migration is agility and staff productivity. We can think of agility as being quick and flexible. When we use AWS cloud, we can adapt and respond to the changes very faster. So it means that we can have a faster time to market for new products and services uh, in order to help your, your business customers and we can stay ahead of the market. Staff productivity means that you will be having better efficiency so that you can have better, you know, uh, deliver uh, your services to your customers. As many things uh, while adopting to the cloud many things will you will not be managing like your on-premises environment so you will be having more and more focus on your business instead of uh, you know managing your operations so same like this uh, we can we are outsourcing our changes so hardware and software will eventually reach their expiration date you need to have a hardware refresh cycle maybe after two years three years or sometimes five years with AWS Cloud, you don't have to manage those hardware cycles because AWS is managing the servers for you. So what you are managing, just your application which you have deployed on AWS Cloud. Plus AWS Cloud lets you consolidate your data and applications into a clean and organized space. So you will not be reducing, uh, this reduces the maintenance headaches and cost and making easier to manage your, uh, your business applications. If you are uh, running your applications on the on premises, it will not be easy for you to glo go global with AWS Cloud. Expanding your business globally is very easy. AWS global presence through its regions and availability zones allow organizations to expand globally and internationally with ease. AWS Cloud also provides various services for uh, security and resiliency so it means that even your normal business operations may have some kind of disruptions but your applications will be running smoothly on aws cloud so we can architect our uh, applications we can deploy our applications in a way that if something happens still you will not be lose any data and you will not be losing any uh, you know customers due to the unavailability of your applications plus migrating to the aws cloud can reduce your cost you can migrate from the capex model to the apex model plus aws cloud opens the door for the many cutting edge technologies for example uh, ai ml and uh, iot internet of things so many organizations have uh, seen various benefits of migrating to the aws cloud F few of them are for example 31% 30, uh, of the organizations have fewer downtime hours. For example, if you have deployed your application on on-premises cloud on-premises, you will be having downtimes 
more frequently and whenever you have it you have to do a lot of effort in order to make sure that your applications are up and running but in aws as a lot of things are being managed by aws you will not be having much downtime you can uh, see a significant uh, reduction in your downtimes plus you can have the 62 percent of the it staff and productivity boost because you will be focusing more on your business instead of managing the servers and operations you will see that uh, your IT staff productivity has increased. You will be saving almost seven times of your infrastructure cost by migrating to the AWS cloud. And many organizations have also seen that while uh, moving to the cloud, they have increased uh, threefold uh, increase in the number of features and updates they deliver uh, while uh, you know they were on the on-premises and it can keep them ahead of the competition you can release your changes very often and very faster with aws cloud so before discussing about the aws mgn let's discuss about the full migration and modernization journey so for example at the first place you will be at your on-premises it's, it's the starting point. Imagine your organization is a well established business and you are in a world of uh, physical servers which you are managing on your on premises uh, environment. Then you plan to migrate to the AWS cloud. What you plan, you plan to re host your applications. You plan lift and shift from on premises to the AWS cloud. So now uh, it's like deciding your uh, like deciding to relocate your entire business to a new or a, like a more dynamic space in, in, in the cloud. While migrating to the cloud, you have done the hardware and software right sizing. For example, when you do the assessment of your on premises, you you will find that many servers are over provisioned, and when you migrate to the cloud, you will see the cost reduction. So we are Checking this uh, migration and modernization journey in two perspectives, innovation velocity and cost of compute. So while you migrate to the AWS cloud, you have reduced some of your cost. Now within your AWS cloud, you're right, right sizing your compute. You're right sizing your compute resources. Plus uh, you are using some commercial off the shelf. Uh, you are offloading some operational activities. You are saving some more cost while being in the AWS cloud. And then you, uh, gradually you are getting more cloud native. You are migrating your applications from monolith to microservices. And then you are building some DevOps model. So in your modernization journey, so while you are from the on-premises till you are getting cloud native by modernizing your environments, you are saving a lot of cost. Plus besides that, besides saving a lot lots of cost, you are increasing your innovation velocity while you are on premises if you need to release new features you need to launch new business you need to implement new features of application you will be having issues in the scalability you may be having some challenges in the high availability as well in managing your uh, applications while you are modernizing your environment you are getting the innovation velocity As you settle in the in this cloud, you can transfer your business operations and you can have automated CICD pipelines and it can gives you a lot of uh, you know business benefits. There are some common migration challenges which we can see while migrating from on premises to AWS cloud and all these challenges will be uh, covered uh, through AWS MGN. So as we have seen the many benefits of the migration to the AWS cloud, but it comes up with some challenges. For example, in your on-premises environment, you will be having diverse range of operating systems. You will be running Windows, you will be running maybe Solaris or AIX or Linux workloads or Red Hat. You will be having diverse operating system types. And when you need to migrate the operating systems to the AWS cloud, it can lead to complexity. So we can see how AWS MGN can help, you know, and reducing the complexity of various operating systems which you have in your AWS cloud. Plus, uh, you will be having some compatibility issues because the applications and systems which are running in the on-premises doesn't necessarily means that they will work seamlessly on the AWS cloud. 
we need to make sure that we are you know making some significant changes in the configurations uh, so that we will not see any challenge in the compatibility while we deploy our applications on AWS cloud. Migrating legacy applications that rely on the outdated uh, operating system, sometimes outdated technologies requires a very careful approach for the migration to the AWS cloud. So we'll see some challenges while migrating the legacy applications to the cloud. Plus uh, the cloud skills are sometimes it may get expensive because if you are running on your on premises environment, you will be having your internal staff and IT resources well trained on the on premises, but not for the for the cloud. Plus the other challenge you can get is the complex databases. Sometimes you have to migrate the complex databases and maybe you think about OK, whether I need to change the schema of my databases, how I can migrate. So this is a big challenge as well. Plus you need to migrate while making sure that you are running your business operations. For example, you need to migrate to the cloud, but you don't want to disrupt your uh, environment. You want to migrate plus make sure that application is continuously running. So MGN can help us in reducing the downtime and uh, help us in migrating while our application is running on on premises cloud. So it can help us in achieving the you know continuously changing workloads as well. Even if your data is continuously changing, MGN can migrate your data regularly to the AWS cloud. If you have tight project timelines and limited budget, AWS MGN can help you with that. It can ease the migration journey from on premises to AWS cloud. So now we'll discuss about the broadest and deepest of the migration of the capabilities. While migrating to the AWS cloud, we often divide our uh, you know project into the three big phases. The first phase is the assessment, the second is the mobilize, and third is the migrate and modernize. In the assessment phase, we need support in the decision making process. For example, we are in the on premises environment. We need to make sure that uh, while adopting AWS cloud or while migrating to the AWS cloud. Whether it can give us some business benefit, whether it can give us some, uh, you know, uh, ease in our existing system. So what we need to do is we need to start with the assessment. We'll do the migration readiness assessment. Migration readiness assessment will evaluate the organization's preparedness for the migration, whether we are ready to adopt the change, whether we are ready to adopt the cloud or not. And during this phase in the migration readiness assessment, we will identify the areas which need more attention. For example, we are running our uh, operations for, let's say, high availability. We have a methodology for that, but while migrating or while going to the AWS cloud, we need to make sure that we will be able to understand how uh, high availability, scalability, logging, everything is very seamless and easy in AWS cloud. Plus we'll do the migration portfolio assessment. In here, we assess our existing portfolio of workloads to determine their suitability for the migration to the AWS cloud. We need to understand what we are migrating to the AWS cloud. For example, we have hundreds of servers and on, on top of that we are running our 50, 60 applications. We need to understand which applications we need to migrate, which applications we need to hold back to the on premises. So we will we will be doing the migration portfolio assessment. Plus we will be preparing the business case that whether migrating to the AWS cloud can help us in terms of you know saving a lot of cost. Plus we can do the application discovery service as well. We need to understand what are the application components, whether different applications are interacting with each other so that we can migrate them together. So in investment phase, we will be having the decision support. We will be having all the data which can help us in deciding whether we have to migrate, how we have to migrate, when we have to migrate to the AWS cloud. And the second part is mobilize. It includes the planning support. Now, as we have decided that we will be migrating to the AWS cloud, then we will be planning how we will be migrating. In this phase, it involves the preparation of the landing zone. We will be building a secure and compliant 
AWS environment for your workloads to migrate. And we will be doing the migration migration evaluator as well. So what it will include, it will include the making sure that we are preparing the migration waves, like which set of applications will be migrating to the AWS cloud together. So AWS has a full range of services which can help us in preparing this migration. So we have a migration hub. We can plan our full fledged migration on the AWS migration hub. We can evaluate our migration uh, uh to the aws cloud we can build the automated landing zone through aws control tower so that we can make sure that we are ready to host our applications on aws cloud so this ways will help us in planning then we will be migrating over here aws mgn plays a significant role so when we have to migrate from the on premises to aws cloud now we are ready we understand the that what we have to migrate, how we have to migrate. Then by using AWS MGN, we can start migrating our applications to the AWS cloud. So AWS uh, MGN can help us in automating all of the migration. So we will see how we can use this AWS M uh, MGN. What are the requirements uh, to use it and how easy it is, uh, is to use AWS MGN. So AWS MGN can help us in migrating the applications to AWS without without changes uh, to the application or workflows. For example, if we plan to migrate to the AWS, we can just install the AWS MGN agent and we can plan to migrate. It also can help us if we don't want to make any changes to our application, to our configurations, to our data. Still, we can migrate using AWS MGN to, to uh, AWS. It can automate the full process of the migration. We don't have to do a lot of manual stuff when we are using AWS MGN for migration. Plus now AWS has also uh, given the flexibility to users so they can migrate and modernize as well using the AWS MGN. So it comes up with the pre-configured actions which we can take during the cutover. Once we have our data on the AWS cloud, we can plan to modernize as well. And plus we can get the accessibility of the full range of AWS capabilities so that once we are in the AWS cloud, we can modernize on the other uh, applications. So AWS MGN has come up with a lot of uh, benefits. It provides a very uh, unified and a simple process to migrate any application or workload uh, from any source to AWS. So the first benefit of it, it's very flexible. It means that we can migrate from any source, whether it can be on-premises cloud, whether it can be a private cloud, it can be a separate uh, you know, cloud, cloud provider. So AWS MGN can support various uh, sources from where we can migrate to the to the cloud. And it can also support the wide range of operating systems and applications, and it we can al always handle the uh, large scale migrations using AWS MGN. And it's a very reliable and robust service. So AWS MGN does not, uh, you know, do the heavy lifting behind the scenes. Your engineers will just need to deploy the very lightweight agent on your source environment. So once the agent is installed and we have the connectivity with the AWS cloud, we can start replicating our data to the AWS cloud. So it's a very highly secure. We can build up like side to side VPN with our on premises and AWS and we can migrate uh, to the to the cloud. Plus, it's very highly automated. You don't need a lot of skills to operate AWS MGN. It's just a matter of launching the agent and then uh, connecting with the AWS cloud and then it can start the migration. And it's very easy and it's non -disrupt uh, disruptive. Before cutover, you can test your servers. You can test the uh, data which has been migrated to the AWS cloud. So now let's discuss how AWS MGN works. So 
over here we have our source environment let's say any corporate a data center or any cloud provider and over here is our destination we have an aws cloud where we need to migrate on the right hand side you can see that the aws regions are there we, while migrating to the aws cloud we can choose the region uh, on in which region uh, we can uh, we need to migrate so the first step is for the aws mgn to work is the installation of the uh, agent so once we have installed the agent in our on premises servers aws mgn and we can connect it with the aws cloud it can start the replication there are some uh, set of uh, you know ports which we need to open so that aws mgn can work in our on premises environment and start the replication so it comes up with the uh, TLS 1.3 encryption enabled. So all the data which has been migrated from the a, a, from our on premises to the AWS cloud is having the encryption enabled. So once we install the agents, it will st start replicating the data to the staging environment. So what is the staging environment? So once the once the uh, replication starts, AWS built a very lightweight EC2 instance, a virtual machine, and then it can st it starts creating the uh, virtual disks e uh, as EBS volumes. So all the data which has been on the on-premises cloud is being rep replicated to the EBS volumes of AWS in a continuous fashion. So you're running your uh, normal business uh, operations on your on-premises environment while AWS MGN is working on the background for us and migrating our data to the AWS cloud without any disruptions. For every source disk uh, replicated, AWS MGN create an identically EBS volume in the staging area for the synchronization. So for example, if we have five uh, servers, so AWS will create the five uh, EBS volumes in the uh, in, in AWS cloud uh, in the staging area. So once we have all the data, what we can do is we can do the test. For example, your application was running on the AWS cloud. Let's say you have three applications and all of them have been migrated to the uh, to the cloud and then you can test your instances. You can test whether all the data is being migrated to the to the cloud and all your application functions are working correctly. Then you can just plan the cutover. So you can do the cutover AC2 instance. Once you click on the cutover, it will create the virtual machine as it is. It was on your on-premises and it will, it will launch the server. So we can have a separate uh, environment. You can say that for, for our migrated resources. So your applications which was running on the on-premises is being migrated to the AWS cloud as it is and uh, you will see that you don't have to make any changes you didn't do any configuration change it's just a lift and shift and it is that easy aws mgn can do all of these tasks replicating the instance we can do the testing and then cut over in a very automated fashion so we will be having all of our migrated resources in the aws cloud so it can do the automatic conversion. It will install all the softwares, whatever installed on your on premises. It will install everything on the on the uh, AWS EC2 instance without any manual interruptions. Now AWS MGN has the modernization option as well. So what it will do when you migrate to the AWS cloud, you can choose that uh, you need to uh, modernize as well. So it has the native integration with all of other AWS services, for example, AWS systems manager, and it can automate the orchestration. It can automate the system conversions and the modernization as well. Once you migrate to the uh, to the AWS cloud and all of your data is in AWS and your applications are running smoothly in AWS, you can have an AWS Systems Manager agent install on it. And AWS Systems Manager is a very uh, reliable service. It can automate all the tasks which you were doing manually on your on-premises. For example, it can automate the patching. And if you consider you have uh, 10 servers in your on-premises environment, and when you migrate to the AWS cloud and, and you have to do the patching, 
AWS systems manager can automatically do the patching for you. And if you install some packages on your on premises environment, you need to do them maybe manually in each of them. If you are on the AWS cloud, AWS systems manager can automate the, uh, you know, the installation of some packages for you. So while migrating to the AWS cloud, you are modernizing your uh, environment as well. You are making sure that you are having the less operational overhead uh, once you are in the AWS cloud. So AWS MGN can comes up with a lot of benefits. So you can migrate, you can also modernize your environment on the on the AWS. If you have a lot of servers, let's say you have like 40 or 50 servers or 100 servers or more than 100 servers which you want to migrate to the AWS cloud and you don't want to install the AWS MGN agent on all of them because uh, it, 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 it is quite a task to install the AWS MGN agent on all your 100 servers. So in AWS MGN, it can support the agentless replication as well. For example, you have your corporate data center and you are running your resources on the VMware cloud, on the VMware environment, sorry. And then you can have the migration MGN vCenter appliance. So it will be an OVF image that you can deploy to the uh, your on-premises environment and it can do the replication for us. So it will create the, the snapshot for all of your disks. And again, the next process will be the same. It will create a staging area of our migrated resources. It will create a lightweight EC2 instances and then migrate all of your uh, applications to the AWS cloud. So if we have a lot of uh, applications, a lot of uh, servers, we can plan the migration waves. We can plan which applications we, we can uh, have to migrate first, which applications uh, you know, are easy to migrate. We can choose the low hanging fruits uh, during the migration. We can use AWS migration hub for that. We can create the AWS uh, migration hub. We have the migration waves created for, let's say, two servers or five servers. We can use AWS MGN to migrate them to the AWS cloud. It will create the staging area and then uh, we can test our instances and we do the cutover after the testing. So it will migrate all of our resources to AWS. As we discussed that AWS MGN can support wide range of applications, operating systems and databases. So you can applic you can replicate any application of your own premises. For example, if you are running Oracle Business Suites or you are running SharePoints or Exchange or SAP, you can migrate anything from on premises to AWS cloud using the automated uh, in an automated way using AWS MGN. Plus you can migrate the any databases if you have Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, SAP HANA, and MySQL, which, you know, before AWS uh, MGN, those applications or those databases were not that easy to migrate to the, to the AWS cloud. So now with AWS MGN, we can migrate a lot of databases in a seamless fashion. Plus, it can uh, migrate any operating system, almost any operating system from your on-premises to the AWS cloud. So it can support Red Hat, CentOS, Windows, different flavors of Linux from uh, so that we can migrate from the uh, on-premises to AWS without making any changes. It's just a matter of installing the servers and connecting with AWS cloud and AWS MGN can start migrating. Plus uh, we can migrate from the various sources of infrastructure. For example, VMware, Azure, Google Cloud, even AWS if we want to migrate from different AWS region to different region. Let's say we are if we are running our workloads on Ireland uh, region, we can we have to migrate to the UA region. We can use AWS MGN to migrate that. We can migrate from the physical uh, data centers, IBM, and so it can support a lot of uh, uh, sources. So let's discuss about one of the case studies of uh, in Marsat. Uh, so they have migrated more than 1500 servers to AWS. So which uh, with an average of 120 servers per month, migrating 120 servers per month uh, is not that easy if AWS MGN is not there. So while AWS MGN is there, uh, we can plan to migrate more than 100 servers per month 
uh, including different workloads, let's say Microsoft SharePoint, SQL Server, Java applications, any other custom software and legacy applications. So Inmarsat has migrated more than 1500 servers with AWS with these and uh, it can help them. It helps them in uh, reducing the infrastructure cost up to, you know, 65 percent. There is another case study of uh, DB style UK. Uh, they have uh, migrated 400 physical uh, and VMware based machines ahead of the schedule. When you want to migrate to the uh, to the cloud, you have to you know build a plan. So when you plan, you may be thinking, OK, we'll be migrating, let's say 20, 30, 30 servers per, per month. And with the help of AWS MGN, you can really expedite the process. So it so they achieved a 30 minute cutover window. So for example, they migrate the server to the AWS cloud. They do the testing of the instance. Everything was working fine and within 30 minutes they have done the cutover to and their server is ready to host their traffic to host their business um, application on AWS cloud. So their workloads include a lot of Microsoft SQL servers, Oracle databases, legacy applications were running on Microsoft Windows, Red Hat and CentOS operating systems. We can also achieve disaster recovery uh, through AWS MGN. So we have the pre migration benefits and we have the post migration benefits. So in the pre migration benefits, we are reducing our IT uh, uh, resilience cost and we are improving our objectives uh, with the AWS. While uh, migrating to the AWS cloud, we have already reduced our operational overhead. Now, what we can do is we can easily, uh, you know, do uh, perform the disaster recovery as well. So again, we can just do the seamless migration and then we can install the agent and we can replicate our uh, data even to the other AWS region for the for the D, uh, DR or we can build a separate full environment so that our uh, business applications can run on the on the two different uh, even two different regions or availability zones based on our requirements and in case of any issue in case of any disruptions it will not be impact impacting our uh, business so we can if our primary site is down due to some reasons we can have the other site ready to serve the traffic so aws mgn can automate the full uh, disaster recovery uh, for us in an in a very easy way for example if you have a server in the island uh, in the island region and you want to have the DR in the London region. You can use the AWS MGN. It can replicate all the data from Ireland to London. And in case if you have any disruptions in one of your region in Ireland, you can always host your or move your traffic to the other region. AWS has a lot of other benefits as well, other business benefits while uh, migrating with the AWS MGN. For example, if you are migrating 40 or more servers per month and it includes at least 15 windows servers you will be eligible for having 200 dollars credit per migrated windows server so if you migrate let's say if you even if you migrate uh, 10 windows servers you you will be available so you will be having uh, 200 credits for each of the virtual machines if you migrate more than 80 or more servers per month, then if and it has at least 25 Windows server, you will be eligible for $250 credit each migrated a Windows server. Also, it can reduce reduce the uh, migration cost. So while you are migrating to the AWS cloud, it is seamlessly migrating all of your data, building the lightweight environment staging environment on the AWS cloud and then just migrating your uh, applications to the AWS. You don't need much skills. You don't need to have much IT staff deployed in order to migrate from in, uh, from on premises to the AWS cloud. It can help you reducing the cost. Plus you can also simultaneously running two environments during the migration. For example, if you're running some workloads on the VMware, you are running some workloads on the physical hosts. You can migrate both of the environments parallelly. So uh, for that, you 
the benefit is you can have a predictable migration schedule and even you can migrate within time and within budget. So how TechWix can help you in order to migrate from uh, on premises to AWS cloud? Uh, we have a highly uh, pool of highly skilled uh, professionals who can help you in order to you know do all of the three phases of your migration journey from assessment to mobilize to migrate and modernize we can do the assessment of your on premises environment using multiple tools we can assess the readiness of your team of your environment whether you are ready to adopt the cloud changes or not we can recommend you the set of uh, best practices or we can create the center of excellence prior migrating to the to the AWS cloud, we can do the gap uh, analysis at, as well. So that while embracing the change, while embracing the cloud, we should be having necessary skills in, uh, so that we can run uh, our operation seamlessly on the AWS cloud. Plus we have the uh, standardized methods in order to, to migrate and modernize. We have achieved the certain set of SDPs and uh, competencies. So we have achieved uh, the Amazon EC2 for Windows uh, competency. We understand uh, the best practices of running your Microsoft workloads on AWS Cloud. We can help you in reducing the uh, the cost. Plus, we can help you in modernizing your environment so that you can uh, get rid of your Microsoft licenses and save a lot of cost. Plus, we also have the Amazon Direct Connect. Uh, uh, SDP. Uh, we were the first known telco consulting partner to achieve this direct connect uh, SDP in this Minat region. So if you have more than 100 or 200 servers and you want to migrate to the AWS cloud and you want a very uh, resilient connectivity uh, and a very fast connectivity with your on premises environment and AWS cloud in order to migrate your data and applications to the to the AWS, we can always build a direct connect. It's a physical connection from your on premises to the AWS uh, region so you can migrate uh, in a very highly uh, effective way and you can migrate your data. If you have like hundreds of terabytes of data, you can migrate that easily. So we have experience in all of the major AWS uh, technologies from compute to uh, to containerized platforms. We can help you from you know dip from your, your applications if you have like monolith applications and you want to modernize and uh, you want to deploy to the kubernetes or container orchestration platforms we can help you with that plus uh, we understand about the networking storage databases big data analysis and analytics uh, aws application integration services so these comes handy when we are modernizing our aws environment and we are uh, using the AWS services instead of you know uh, using those services within the within the virtual machines. Plus we can use the AWS uh, services for for the migration, including AWS migration hub. AWS migration service, plus we have the experience of using AWS infrastructure and management and the DevOps tools as well. So that's it from the today's uh, webinar uh, and thank you for joining and if you have any questions you may please ask. Hi, I have actually one question, may I? Yeah, please. OK, uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much for such an insightful session. It was uh, really so much in depth and informative and uh, I see how TechBricks is helping. So actually, I want to know how TechBricks incorporate feedback from clients uh, to continuously improve its services and enhance the migration experience and what kind of post migration support does TechBricks offer to organizations using AWS MGN? like uh, the, the, disa the disaster recovery and how uh, how TechBix is precisely helping in that. Uh, thank you so much for asking the question. So, you know, when we migrate the uh, uh, the customers from on-premises to the AWS cloud, 
So in the assessment phase, we plan everything. In the mobile as fields, we make sure that they are ready to adopt the cloud. And during this phase, how we help customers, we build them the cloud center of excellence. We understand their gaps by doing the gap analysis through AWS migration readiness assessment. We help them in bridging the gaps so that they can adopt the AWS cloud. And while we migrate them to the AWS cloud and during the migration, we can help them with the managed services. So we can manage their environment on their behalf so that uh, they can focus on their business applications and uh, you know they can plan for their uh, future roadmaps while we as TechBricks are managing their environment we are helping them in migration plus how we can help is we can actually train the resources so while we are migrating to the aws cloud and managing the environment on uh, on aws we are having continuous uh, meetings with the with our customers and we are continuously training them so that they can understand the benefits and they can plan their next applications uh, to migrate to the AWS. OK, uh, thank you. I understand. Uh, I, I assume TechBix is certainly doing some extraordinary things. And also I would like to know that how does the AWS MGN support hybrid cloud strategies like especially for organizations with a mix of on-premises and cloud-based applications so while migrating to the on-premises cloud uh, from the on-premises to the aws cloud what we usually do is we do the so in in the first phase of our uh, migration journey which is the assessment when we do the portfolio assessment we will be having a lot of applications on our on-premises. For example, if we want to achieve the hybrid uh, model of the uh, of the cloud adoption, there are some certain applications, legacy applications, which we cannot migrate uh, to the AWS cloud and uh, which want to keep it on the on-premises. What we can do is we can prioritize the migration of our applications. For example, we can do the planning that these applications we are re-hosting and these applications we are retaining. So the, those applications which we want to rehost to the AWS cloud, we can use AWS MGN to migrate them uh, from on-premises to the AWS cloud. And the other applications, we can keep it on-premises. We can retain them uh, for the, and we can make a hybrid connectivity through AWS Direct Connect. So we can connect our on-premises and AWS. And uh, if our applications which are on the on-premises want to you know, communicate or want to integrate with the applications that we have migrated to the uh, to the AWS Direct Connect can help us in establishing the connectivity. Plus, we also have the option of VPN gateway, which we can connect from on premises to AWS. So for you uh, through this MGN and AWS uh, network connectivity options, we can achieve the hybrid uh, cloud benefits. All right, thank you so much, Harris, for uh, you know um, answering my questions in so much detail. It will certainly be very helpful for me. So thank you, thank you once again. Thank you.